So what do you think of Mark Halpert calling Obama a dick? Ladies first. What do you think? She's, she's calling herself Mark Halpert. <laughs> I just want to see who's keeping up with the news today. I used to actually work uh, for the same uh, news firm that Mark Halpert did. And What's he like? He's a douchebag. <laughs> what can, yeah. This is going on for the world. Today. This is cool. Mark Halpert she called up Mark Halpert a douchebag. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. <laughs> what else you got to say, Greg? That's it. That's it. I think that's enough. You want to add to that? Yeah. All I gotta say is, it wasn't appropriate for him to say that on TV, especially. But he was kind of set up. Like they kind of egged him on. And then after he said it, they were like, "You didn't say that, did you?" Because they said like they have the tape delay thing going on. So I don't know. Like he shouldn't have said it. But if you look at the whole thing, he was kind of set up. Why do you think he did it? Because he wanted to say it. I mean, you got to know the cameras are rolling. And when the camera, when you're sitting in front of the camera, you always know that the camera, you may be hot or live. And you know, he messed up. And uh, he apologized for it. But you know, he's probably done in terms of his broadcast, at least in the short term. You know? Why do you say it? Is it your camera out of stuff? <laughs> She's very like, you know, we're all polite, right? She's like, <laughs> dude, do you I mean, follow her on Twitter, dude? Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't read her. What kind of tweets you putting out there? She keeps it real. She keeps it real, bro. Facey Chief. All you need to know is all right there. <laughs> this is Grace and Daughters. Introduce yourself. I'm Spacey Chief on Twitter. <laughs> it's all right there. So, Lonnie. You know, I want to talk to you later about being a video blogger because you're very good at what you do. Well, I've only worked in the news business for about, what? Only a billion years. Yeah, it's what billion I do. Years? It's what I, it's what I do. It's, what it's all I know. It's all videos, all I know. He went so. to TV kindergarten. Wait, wait, wait. i got to ask both of you a question. You, okay. Will media survive? Will journal, will papers survive? And I'm not a journalist guy, I'm a tech guy. So some, I, of them, some of them, probably, yeah. yeah. I still like to... Okay, so who's going to die? Who's going to die? I think that the organizations that uh, perhaps they don't adapt, they don't get on with the mobile and the, the apps and, um, you know, the thing about journalism is that it used to be about serving the public. Now it's about serving their commercial advertisers. You know, I've worked in the mainstream media. Um, I always, you know, told the truth, uh, tried to find the facts. But the bottom line is that, you know, they're, they're trying to appeal to their audience so they can get the advertising dollars. That's the bottom line. That's the name of the game. And when that has happened, I mean, it sort of shifted the focus. So I think that uh, it's, it's a balancing act right now. And social media is the equalizer. So whatever happens is going to happen. But, um, you know, it's survival of the fittest right now. That's really how I feel about it. Grace, you want to add to that? No, Amani always speaks for me. Cool. Always has, always works. That's perfect.